Hi, are you getting ready to take the pre-kindergarten through third grade exam? That's exam code 053. I'm Teriana, an ESC specialist in testprepexertwithstudy.com, and today I'll be reviewing the subtopic mathematics. Let's get started. Problem number one. Mrs. Garcia has 24 apples. She wants to divide them equally into baskets, with each basket holding six apples. How many baskets does Mrs. Garcia need? A, four baskets. B, 18 baskets. C, 30 baskets. Or D, 12 baskets. In order to solve this problem, we need to divide the total number of apples by the number of apples inside of each basket. 24 divided by 6 is 4. This means Mrs. Garcia needs 4 baskets to hold all 24 apples equally. Problem number 2. Mr. Lee is teaching his second grade class about the properties of addition. He shows them the equation 4 plus parentheses 5 plus 3 close parentheses equals parentheses 4 plus 5 close parentheses plus 3, and asks, which property of addition does this equation demonstrate? A. Associative property. B. Commutative property. C. Distributive property. Or D. Subtractive property. Mr. Lee is teaching about properties of addition. Therefore, we can eliminate distributive property because this is multiplication and subtractive property. Remember, in the commutative property, the order in which two numbers are added or multiplied does not change the sum or the product. This is an example of commutative property. The associative property differs from commutative property because it involves grouping. The equation in Mr. Lee's example demonstrates the associative property of addition where you can change the grouping of numbers being added and it will not affect the sum. Problem number three. Mrs. Carter's class conducted a survey on their favorite fruits. They collected data and decided to represent it using a chart. If the class wants to show how many students prefer each fruit and also compare the results visually, which method should they use to organize and represent their data? A, tally marks. B, line plot. C, scaled bar graph. Or D, circle graph. It's important to note that the category is very specific. Favorite fruits. It's also important to note that the students want to compare the results visually. Tally marks is a simple way to collect data, but does not visually compare data as effectively as other answer choices. Line plots are more suitable for data involving measurements or fractions. It might not be the best choice for categorically comparing favorite fruits. Option D, circle graphs, could be used to represent the data, but it is more effective for showing proportions of a whole rather than comparing individual categories. A scaled bar graph, on the other hand, will allow the students to see the number of votes for each fruit clearly and compare these numbers easily. Therefore, the best way to organize and represent their data would be to use a scaled bar graph. Problem number four. Your class is learning how to solve word problems involving addition. You want to use a strategy that helps students visualize the problem before solving it. Which strategy should you encourage your students to use? A. Writing an expression. B. Making a table. C. Drawing a picture. Or D. Memorizing the problem. It's important to note your goal is to help students visualize the problem before solving it, meaning you want to help the students get a picture in their mind. Option A, writing an expression, can be an effective strategy. However, may not be useful for young students considering it is a higher level of thinking. 
Option B can be tedious and require unnecessary steps that may confuse students. Option D is not a problem solving strategy and also will not help students to visualize the problem. Therefore, we can also eliminate this option. Option C, drawing a picture, allows students to represent the elements of the problem visually, making it easier to understand and solve the problem. I hope this video was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, check out our other videos or make your way over to study.com. As a study.com member, you'll receive access to hundreds of problems like the ones that I walked through today, plus targeted instructions to help you maximize your score on test day. Lastly, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful. Also, make your way into the comment section and let us know if there's any other ways that we can help you. Good luck and happy studying.